Hey guys, Joe with DIY Cold Plunge, and I'm finally following up on my last video where I had a one quarter horsepower hooked up to a 100 gallon tank and a half horsepower hooked up to a 150. In that video, I said that I would swap these and then share the results. Now, quick disclaimer, I live in Minnesota. We've seen temperatures in the mid 80s to low 90s. So if you're in a more extreme climate, you might wanna err on the side of getting a bigger chiller. But for me, when I swapped these two, I didn't see really any difference in performance. And I honestly don't really have anything to report back other than the one quarter horsepower works on the 150 just as good as it did on the 100. And obviously, if you're considering the half horsepower going from the 150 to the 100, it's only going to be more efficient. I personally can get away with the one quarter horsepower in almost any scenario, whether my tank is in direct sunlight, in my garage, or whatever. But I do wanna say that I have had this chiller since the beginning of DIY Cold Plunge. So for over two years now, I have put it through the absolute ringer. It's been exposed to the elements, everything like that, and it's still alive and kicking today. Right now, I'm also going through tests with the Rosita and the Vivor chillers on the new DIY cold plunge build, and I'll have more content on the way with that soon. But if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And if you're looking to build a DIY cold plunge like this, make sure to use this discount code to save a little bit of money on the plan. That's all for now, guys. Short and sweet. We'll see you at the next video.